Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a monthly budget setup type of video. If you're new here, my name is Haley Santella and I upload videos every single Sunday and then occasionally I'll do extra videos on Tuesday and Thursday as well. So like I said, today's video, we're going to be going through my budget planner and just kind of setting everything up for November. Now, I haven't actually used this budget planner regularly, ever. I had set it up at the beginning of the year, kind of went through and did a bunch of things, and then I pretty much left it alone. There's actually a few months in here where I've gone through and kind of laid everything out and set everything up, but then I never went to use it. And then I think there's maybe one or two months in here where I actually went in and started writing things in after the fact. So I've never actually used this planner to actually budget. Now, part of the reason is because we used to have an electronic budget that I relied on heavily and I love the electronic budget and I'm going to try to kind of do a combination of the electronic budget and then this paper planner as well. And then secondly, another big change that's happened this year is that we were able to pay off all of our student loans a lot faster than we thought we would be able to. And now we have a lot of excess income and we've kind of just not been budgeting to be honest. But now that we're married and our wedding is done and life is kind of settling down and isn't as hectic, we kind of want to get back into a budget again. So I decided to pop open my planner and kind of set everything up and make sure that we're ready to go for the month of November. So in this video, I'm just going through and setting up all of the pages. And the first page I had done was all of our expenses. And now the second page that I'm doing is going to be all of our sinking funds. You'll see that I'll list the expense or the fund and then what the amount was the previous month, what might have been added or subtracted from that category over the month, and then what we have at the end of the month. Now I mentioned that we have a lot of excess income and that's fantastic, but at the same time, we're trying to save for a house. So what we've done recently, we've made a kind of a shift in the way that we manage our money. We have decided to put my entire income into a savings account for a future home. We're trying to save for a down payment for a home. And then basically we're just living off of my husband's income. So a kind of shift in our budgeting is we no longer need to um, budget for all four weeks of the month. We now only need to budget for two of the weeks. Um, and those are the two weeks that he's paid. And the reason for that is because when I get paid, we aren't utilizing any of that money that's coming in. It's just going straight into a savings account and we're saving it. So that's kind of been a shift in the way we manage our money, budget it, and kind of set everything up. And then the last two pages that I'm putting together is what I call my expense tracker. And I basically track every single expense that we have outgoing throughout the month. So this could be eating out at lunch, getting gas, paying rent, uh, going to the grocery store, anything like that, I'll track it in my expense tracker. Now we're moving on to the monthly layout. I just use these colored dots to signify when our paydays are, mine are pink, Sean's are blue. And then I'll go in with these Planner Kate labels and just kind of signify when we have certain bills due. We don't have a lot of bills, to be honest. We just have our rent, electric, our cell phones, and then we have a Spotify that we pay for as well. So we just have those few bills regularly. And then the rest of our expenses are just variable. So they could be groceries, gas, if we need anything for the apartment, like cleaning supplies, if one of us needs more shampoo or anything like that, if we go out to dinner, restaurant, if we grab a coffee, if we decide we wanna to go to a concert that month, things like that, the rest of it's really variable. And as you guys noticed earlier when I was setting everything up, I didn't go ahead and put any of the numbers in. If you guys would like to see a video where I'm inputting all of the numbers and how much we spend in each category, let me know down in the comments and I will make sure to film a video for you guys so that you can see that. But yeah, this is how I am setting up our budget planner for the month of November. I'm really excited to get back into budgeting. It's something that we really, really need to do because we've been slacking, to be honest. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see me set this all up. Like I said, let me know down in the comments if you would like to see other budgeting related videos. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.